Uh, hey guys, how's it going now? Welcome back to the uh, Bloodborne playthrough. So now we're about to go to Bergenworth. Just head back to Cathedral Ward. See if there's anything that has changed there. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of these NPCs, their, uh, their quest lines are going to finish. Uh, you're going to be able to finish them once you uh, kind of evolve the game into the second phase. Oh, which we'll be doing in like the next next hour. Can we finish his off here? Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Ah, hand over unopened summons. Aha! Is that the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. We get Wheel Hunter badge. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. It has been an honor. But I must say goodbye. Let us cleanse these tarnished streets. And may the good blood guide your way. Okay, nice. Um, so let's just head back. Well, let's go to Lagaris' seat so we can walk in and see what's happened. <laughs> Is that a bit of yellow snow? <laughs> This long staircase to the chamber, Queen. Master, look, I've done it. I've done it. I smashed and pounded and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp. There, you filthy monstrosity. What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. All mangled and twisted, with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> you. <laughs> that was that left? Mainly flesh. It's on the floor. Is it? Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> oh, what a psycho. Here we got Raw. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> um, okay. I've done it. Just going to manus. So that's his uh his quest chain finished. As he kills the queen off. Um <laughs> uh, what is it? Is it key items? 
queenly flesh, the remains of Annalise, a viable queen of Canehurst. Uh, this pinkish lump of flesh remains warm, as if cursed. All hail the undying queen of blood. Um, okay, cool. Now we can carry on. Do I go to the, yeah, I go to the bit of woods. Okay. Um, okay, so this will, this is where I do want to be at. That's where I want to be. Uh, so we've done like half of this already. So we've got the shortcut in here. This guy. I do. I'm a bit uh, like. I'm not the biggest fan of this area though because it's there's loads of uh, loads of paths to take. And I always have to like check out every single path, so it takes me a while to get through this bit. Um, but yeah, we've we've done the tower, killed the the dark beast in that tower. Um, so let's head this way. So this is the second half. I'm just like, is this a pathway? Shortcut? To lead me anywhere. To just skip like half the actual map. Oh, we've got a big boy. Blood start <laughs> shard stones. I need some chunks though. Chunks are where it's at. Oh god, so this takes us down to the big gravestone where I don't want to be just yet. I kind of want to walk through it. Oh, so let's go all the way back. Probably going to be a few bits like that in this area. Be a lot of snakes. Um, okay, so I believe this is the bit. This is the ledge that I jumped off. And head down here and see what it's about. I can hear fire burning. I guess it's these lanterns. I'm pretty intense just to be. Go check these alcoves as well. There, there's some places which just have little uh, little items hidden. Some shining coins. And it looks like death. There is a little area down there though. of these things. So I'm, I'm going to be using this jumping attack quite a lot because it's a really nice move to have to close in a bit of the distance. I guess it's the same kind of attack as the the club in a Dark Souls. It's a very nice move to have and to use. Oh 
god. again. What was that? <laughs> Came through the tree, his weapon. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we would have got to if we went on the top area. Oh, but yeah, these snake things are... They can do some fat, quick attacks. Or like trying to get those uh, jumping attacks in. So if I... Just like always looking back though, just in case I miss anything. Let's uh, I'm gonna clear down this side first. Then I'll go back. These guys have camouflage, they can sneak up on you if you're not paying too much attention. Are there any more? That might be it for these guys. In that area. Sneaky snake down here. Can we like? Whoa! Shh. Nope. Too late. That was a lot of damage. I'm not getting any parries off at all. I'll just shoot him down. That was awful. <sighs> I'm too nervous at this game. Like, I'm, I'm too quick to, to dodge backwards instead of uh, charging him once to, uh, to get the visceral. Was there anything else down here? That might be most of it down this side. That takes us back to the, the track again. There's more lovely snakes down there. And bigger ones as well. Like up here. It's a bit sassed. Oh shit. Let's get out of there. Oh, it's still attacking me. Right. I'm going to have to deal with these guys. But these ones don't stagger. We have to try and uh, play a bit better. Oh, 
Oh, the... There's a lot of twin bloodstone shards down here. Oh, to come here. I guess this is madman's knowledge. Oh, clear deep sea. Let's uh, see what this one does. Have we already had one of these before? We did. Um... I don't know which is the one that we got, but we've got higher poison resistance, plus 200. It's handy, especially in this area, since we can get poisoned a lot. Uh, there's a little item down there. Nothing else in this direction. Back. An enemy down here. gemstone um but yeah i mean like this is just I, i'm literally just going everywhere trying to collect everything you don't have to do this this it can be a much simpler area if you just kind of follow the path down oh uh, but yeah i want to get everything so i'm going everywhere But yeah, it looks like it's just a load of upgrade materials that we're getting from here. If you wanted to upgrade more weapons, it's be a nice place to to come. Okay, so I think that's way back up. So we've got the the main path. Which like I said, you could literally just follow this all the way down and get to where you need to be. Blood vials. Um. Okay, so I came up here. I don't think there was anything else that I missed. Over If we go further down, there's kind of like a ledge, a ledge here where we can get an item. And it does take us somewhere else as well. Can we get back out if we go down there? ahead. God, how many snakes. Oh, it's higher ground. Take them all that way. Thing hits hard. 
I got poisoned as well. Damn. I was just trying to separate them a bit so I could at least get in and take some of these these little smaller snakes out. So weird, we got this shortcut sent back up. Which kind of I might actually try and put some poison resist gear on. Although I am still taking a beating from the physical attacks. But yeah, like, like I said, we could just literally go straight down here and we'll be in the same place as where I died. Just trying to avoid that poison though. But yeah, like it's a bit harder there because you're surrounded by all those like smaller snakes. But if you can just try and circle around the big one, um, you can take it out that way. Okay, so we came from down there. There should be another guy or two. Just get one at a time in here. But yeah, like, seems like it's the same kind of thing as well, like, they've got this, like, flare on their head that makes them look a bit scarier than they are. Never seen that move before. But I think if you, uh, if you just circle around, it looks like they do just straight on, straight ahead attacks, so you can circle around these guys as well. Back stab. Some more blood vials. Oh, ah, and a chunk. She one more. I don't think I picked up another one. If I get another one, I can get it. go grab an upgrade. Uh, will I die for fall down? Who knows? Just got rid of one of them. But now it's like stuck there. Get out. Oh shit. I 
I don't even know if I can get around that. I'm really sure she's in it again. I'm back up here. Uh, and we got deep sea. This one give us. Uh, as frenzy resistance plus 200. Okay, so what do we have down this side? Again, like with these paths. Got an item over that way. More snake boys. It's just annoying when they're kind of like all up together. Okay, so the snake ones aren't too bad, it's just kind of get to their blind side and back away. Same with the, the snake head guys. Um, okay, so if we we can just drop down there, which I think is a bit of a shortcut to the boss. But I don't know if you can open the gate from that way. Uh, but that's probably the last place we're going to go. I think that's the whole of that area. Check see if there's anything up here. And the cobbler. Some more snakes. Ah, and then try and get back to this path. So I don't haven't missed anything. Again, you can literally just follow the path all the way through. Okay, let's back up to that bit. But again, like down here, I think that's another secret area that you can, well, another shortcut if you go down that way, pick up that item, and take you closer to the, um, to the shortcut in this area. What do I want to do? Do I want to jump? I feel like I want to jump down here. that in a bit. So yeah, we could just uh, follow the path down, take us into the next area. Some more of these boys. We've cleared all the, all the right side. We've got a big hog up there. We take out the hog. it for up there. Fail.
Oh shit. I was hoping that would have been like longer. Like if we do the jump attack with the extended weapon, it doesn't kill them in one hit. Yeah, let's hope we can do that and just get a few uh, double kills. Oh, that one's alive. There's another one. So many pathways. They all lead to the same place though, just uh just I hate this. I'm so indecisive of things like this. I'm gonna head down this way first though. So we came from above, did we? Like, now I'm lost. Okay, let's head through this cave on the left. It might even be better coming back through the other way for this. See, uh, anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Let's uh, kill this guy first. Madman's knowledge. Um, I think that's. I'm not sure if there's another item up there or not. I think that might have been it. Oh, I'll, I'll go and check on the way back. Uh, but what did we get? Clockwise memo. Says or anti-clockwise. I think it was anti-clockwise, right? Boost max stamina by ten percent. I think it was boost max HP by ten percent. So that was the cave anyway. If you do fall down on the left side as you're coming down to this place, take you through there. Um, so I'm gonna do the shortcut next. In case I die, I can get back here fairly quickly. There's a grab attack. Just a Oh, 
this. So that is the shortcut which is in the in the tower. Um, I'm probably gonna die, so we'll see that when I run back. Um, and what we came from the top. Maybe I just missed the item. Maybe I loaded after I came through here. Have I been this way? Surely I have. Is so confusing sometimes. Yeah, we crossed over that bridge. I'm at the top, which we haven't got yet. There's uh, down here, there's a cross there. Let's go down here first. <laughs> Okay, so this is just the the other the lower half of this bit where we went up. If we carry on going through the bottom, there's going to be some uh, some zombie guys. Damage reduction plus five percent. I've got another pig to take care of down here. Okay, so the boss room's down there. We've got that area. I'm just gonna clear the rest of here first. Uh, was there an item down here? So that doesn't lead us anywhere. <laughs> uh, I think that might be it. There's just one more thing I'm going to go back for. Oh, God, it's been a while since I've been through here, so it's just 
kind of remembering where everything is. So it sounded like there was a snake over here, so we haven't been this... Uh, to this little bit. That we came down that side, we haven't been down that side. more of these guys down here. The <laughs> path waits ahead there for fall is effective. This just takes us back to... Oh, hold on. Maybe. the blind side. <laughs> Fuck. Very careful. Um, okay, yeah, that, that's pretty much all of it done. I'm just gonna head back and get another item, which we can only get by doing a jump. I can't remember what this is. I think it just might be another, like the head to that set piece. Yeah, grave guard mask. Yeah, and that's it. That's all of this. This area cleared. I should go back to that drop-off point. And see what was down there. two pathways uh, down there is going to be to the boss but this way is uh, that area that we saw earlier with the gate I'm not sure if it can be opened from the other side
path. I guess it wouldn't have to be since there's a pathway up here. Which lets you drop down where that big snake was, which I just fought. Uh, but I guess it's a much faster way to get into the boss anyway. If you weren't bothered about any of the other items around here. Blood vials. Clockwise metamorphosis. Uh, okay, boost max HP by plus 5%. Did we get the big one or the... Yeah, we got the, the small one. Anything behind. No. Uh, so that's it. So I think we got the powerful one in an optional area. Can't remember what. Uh, but there is like a wiki page which has got all the kind of drop locations for this game. Uh, I think it's by uh, Extra Life. And he does a really good job of, like explaining everything. He's a really good, really good at this type of stuff. He's got like all the information on uh, any Souls, Souls-like games, Soulsborne games. Um, okay, do I need to use anything? Let's just, let's just go and see how we do. So I'm going to want to take out this guy first. Just because I hate fire. I think it's because he like summons a snake, maybe? I can't remember. He's got range as well. Okay. This guy's what the fuck, man. Okay, that guy's summoned some deadly f fucking snakes. in order so maybe maybe that's a hint to what we do so whoever shows fire killing that order see that's nitrous Oh, 
Okay. They're all getting a bit, uh... A bit snaky. <laughs> They're all getting a bit fiery. So, does that mean we're going to take out this guy next? Because he's got a fire sword. That pillar does not work. Just wondering if this is guy's gonna have an attack that it annihilates me now. Although fire's gone. That I mean danger's gone. I guess this guy's just got strong combos. And it might actually be able to uh oh, snakes. Right, I literally just need to hit him again. So, I mean, like, I can only go off that one, but, like, it seems. It seems like the best order to take them out is just go for the one that's got fire. So, the caster first with the fireballs, uh, and then the flame sword guy, and then the kind of samurai guy. It, it may not, it, there may be a different order, but that's kind of seemed easy to me. And it's just kind of like a circle around them again, just like the best practice for all the enemies in this area just kind of dodge around and attack because they will do straightforward attacks and it seems to be easier that way ah uh, what did we get what did we get uh was it a beast did we just get another beast or the moon might be a beast but i'll have to go back and check that um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this area. And I think... For these bug type things, okay, we, we can uh, stun lock these, so these aren't too bad. Just, uh, don't let them land on you. Small man, man's knowledge. Can hear another one somewhere. Oh, we've made it. Bergenworth. <laughs> 